Imagine a world where the price of gas is irrelevant and fuel, looks good, almost free, is everywhere. Sounds far-fetched, but that's exactly the world that Jeff Phillips, Justin Gervais, and Robert Metcalf have created for themselves. Jeff Phillips is a former Hollywood musician on a mission to convert diesel cars into vehicles that run on vegetable oil. How busy are you right now? I'm slammed right now. In the last month, I've probably gotten more business than I have in the last year. Justin Gervais is an urban farmer who makes biodiesel out of old fryer grease to run his 88 diesel Chevy Suburban. If you had to guess up this car, how much would it cost? It would cost about $250 to fill up a 40-gallon tank on diesel. And Robert Metcalf is a mechanical engineer who now dumpster dives for restaurant waste to convert into fuel that he puts into the gas tank of his 83 diesel Mercedes. Metcalf says this isn't just about being green. It's about surviving the squeeze at the gas pump. Fed up with paying way over $4 a gallon. Look up the fuel pump, right? Metcalf bought an old Mercedes for $700 and took it to Jeff. It cost $1,300 to get it running and another $850 mm -hmm. for a vegetable oil conversion kit. Five gallons. A word of caution. The EPA doesn't recognize vegetable oil as a motor oil, and drivers can be fined for using it. But Metcalf says it's the ultimate in recycling. In the carbon cycle, it's, it's what you'd call a closed carbon loop because there's carbon in the air. The plants, plants it breathe it, air. metabolize it into the oil, which I'm then putting back in, oxidizing it, and turning it back into carbon dioxide. Andy says it's the best investment he's made. I already have a waste oil source, so I don't actually have to pay for the oil. And so I get to save $450 or $500 in gas every month. So in four months, it'll have paid for itself. Justin Gervais is getting similar results another way. Instead of converting his diesel SUV, he converts the waste restaurant oil into biodiesel, which is a legal fuel. So this stuff comes right out of the fryer yes. at a restaurant. Mm -hmm. It looks pretty nasty. It, it, isn't it bad for your car? It, it is nasty. The waste has to first be filtered and processed, which costs about a dollar a gallon. We have an electric water heater, and we pump in this oil and heat it up. This little container here is it's clear. It's methanol and lye mixed together. When, that, when you mix those two at high temperatures, you mix them for a couple hours, the reaction is biodiesel. Biodiesel that doesn't smell, isn't flammable, and doesn't produce black smoke. You don't have to worry, like everybody else does, about the cost of gas. Yeah, that's, that's empowering right there in itself. Um, it's freedom. The kind of fuel freedom that's keeping Jeff in high demand. Just really try and get a lot of these cars on the road and get a lot more people more educated. An option that takes commitment. If you convert to biodiesel, you still have to register your car with the state and pay an 18 cents a gallon fuel tax. And there's the time and labor involved collecting the fryer grease and turning it into biodiesel. Thelma Gutierrez joins us now live from Pasadena, California. And Thelma, I just want to reiterate the question that you asked. Again, you can take that oil directly from its original source and put it right into the vehicle? Melissa, I can tell you that if you do that, your diesel mechanic is going to scream at you. No, you can't actually do that. Uh, take a look at why. If you look at this filter right here, this is the stuff that you'd end up putting into your car. So it's debris that comes right out of the fryer. So that's not good for your car. First, what you have to do is you pour it into a container like this, and then it's filtered first. Once you filter this oil, then you take another container, a clean container, and then you pump it out, just like that. So then once you put it in this container, you can take it and then immediately go put it into your car. Now, the downside to doing this, though, is that you do have to pay for a conversion. So in the case of this diesel Jetta, it's about $2,500. Now, for the Mercedes-Benz, uh, it's only $850 because you can only have, you, you use one uh, tank. You don't have to have a second tank as you do with the Jetta. The other thing is you do have to pay an 18 cent road tax and you have to be willing to go through all this hassle. You have to be willing to get your hands dirty and filter this oil. But as the price of gas goes up, the price of diesel goes up, 
people might be willing to do that, Melissa. And for these gentlemen, it's certainly well worth their time and the investment of their time. I'm curious if you've met a lot of other people that have tried it and then said, you know what, it's just too much work. You know, the funny thing about it, I asked that question of Jeff, the mechanic, and he said that, you know, with all the conversions that he has, some people go, you know what, this is just too much of a hassle. Well, what they do then is that there are plenty of people out there who will go and collect this oil for you. They will filter it for you, huh? but you'll pay for it. It's about $2 a gallon, still oh. cheaper than diesel.